Hello again everybody and welcome back to the channel. Today's video is going to be in two parts, so check the timestamp if you want the advanced rundown and uh, full tutorial if you like, full explanation of what I'm about to show you guys. And you'll know from months and months ago, part of the growth of the channel initially was the fact that I was providing a, a ready-made VMR file for those of you who wanted to fly on the VATSIM network and wanted some sort of livery matching to try and make things a little appear a little bit more realistic and over time that's naturally progressed quite significantly especially as more aircraft have been added to Microsoft Flight Simulator but one of my channel members uh, one of our gold frequent flyers has spent the last couple of months creating and tweaking a program which allows you guys to create a custom VMR based on exactly what you have got installed so it's really good and over the last three months or so um, I've been helping along with others inside my discord server to test this uh, to try and break it and also to help give advice feedback and improvements to make it ready for flightsim.to to be shared with the world and it's at that stage now so thanks to Philip or MC Carl 1978 on the server and um, really appreciate all the work he's done to make this program and I'm going to show you guys two parts the first bit is going to be a very simply downloading it running it and generating a basic VMR the second part of this video is going to go through all of the details of how it works and how you can edit the rules within the program so you can you can tweak things as always with any model matching it requires a little bit of user input to make it work based on what your needs are so don't expect it to work perfect as my file never did uh, but this certainly is the absolute best that we can do at the moment and the beauty is as we add more aircraft to the sim we can just run it again and it will update the VMR so that we can make sure that we've got the latest model matching rule set and bring in those models every time those new aircraft that we purchase we can bring that in every time so make sure you hit like down below and subscribe as well while you're here if you haven't done so already and if you want the links to the model matching magic program that I'm about to show you guys head to the description today for the video you guys downloading it for the very first time are going to want to go to flightsim.to and search model matching magic and when you do you'll find this file here by MC Carl 1978 scroll down to the bottom and hit the download tab make sure you go through and read all of the details here so you can kind of understand how it works in a basic sense so hopefully this video will help as well once it's downloaded you want to extract the folder so extract here and you can go ahead and put it into wherever you want on your hard drive as an important note if you update the file because it will be updated over time you just want to extract the latest version and then cut the application out find wherever you've got it installed and you paste it in but if you're installing it for the very first time extract it as I've just shown you guys and then plonk it somewhere where you can find it easily and you'll then have um, an XML, two JSONs and you'll have an application double click to open the program and you can see that it's opened here now I've got my add-ons all of my liveries aircraft etc plugged into a D drive and my sim is on a C drive MEME M2 slot so it's in a slightly different location wherever it is for you guys hit the three dots and scroll to it and find it for me I've got it inside an additional folder as you can see here so select wherever it is and select folder and then you quite simply hit scan we'll go through the advanced steps shortly you can see it takes a little while because I've got a lot of folders and in we go and you'll see blue things you'll see red things and all sorts of stuff I'll talk about what they are in a second scroll through the list it's important that you do make sure you scroll through and you can see for example Air 2000 at the very top is blank, both aircraft type and airline ICAO. And because of that, 
we've also got a tick next to exclude. And exclude, if it's ticked, it means that the program is going to ignore it completely for model matching. So we can go ahead and add bits in and we can change some of these, like Prime Air, for example. The livery is not being created correctly, so it thinks that the airline ICAO is Prime Air. That's not correct, so we can go ahead and force that to be something different. So Air 2000, the ICAO code was Alpha Mike Mike. And we know that that aircraft in, in itself was an A320neo, so A20n for the aircraft type code, and you can see it's gone red, and that's because we've made a custom input, and we can then untick the exclude section, so it gets added into our VMR. So the next bit, air tours. That was, of course, the early days of my travel, which then became Thomas Cook. That's MYT for my travel and then A20N for the airline type code and JMC Air uh, was something that came out of uh, Caledonian Flying Colours so their ICAO code is JMC and again we know that from downloading the livery ourselves is an A20N so we add those in and untick them. Prime Air Wiki we go through and we know we need to change that because that should be MZN MZN job done and we can go through and check all the rest and they won't all necessarily be correct you can see that EasyJet CS is blank now that's not correct so EZY EZY and we can untick those so make sure that they're included and Iberia IBS but it also should be IBE IBS for Iberia Express and IBE for proper Iberia and there we go so again you can start, you can kind of see with with how this is displaying here why sometimes model matching doesn't work for people and it's all down to the liveries not necessarily being correctly configured for it to work nicely like there for example Norwegian well we know then that that hasn't got a correctly configured ICAO code so we can just go through and work through your um, model matching program and tick everything that needs ticking, fill out any details and of course fix any problems that you can find. And work through it all and check all of them guys because you might find that some of the liveries are a little bit bizarre. And then once you're happy, all you've got to do is hit generate VMR. You'll then see in the same folder a VMR file. That's perfect. What we want to do is we go to vPilot, go to settings, down to the model matching tab. By the way, that is what this bit should say. Those of you that have been changing it and wondering why nothing works, that's probably why. It should read generic airliner twin engines Asobo 00 and you should never change that setting there. Head to your custom rules and then you click add custom rule set and navigate to the folder where your model matching magic is. So 1TB, FS add-ons, model matching magic and there we go. We can just add it in there nice and simple. Hit apply, make sure it's at the top and OK and then that's it done you can enjoy some uh, increased accuracy in your model matching so for those of you who wanted the basic rundown I hope you really liked that and enjoyed it and I hope you like the program let me know what you think in the comments below be sure to download it and leave Phil a 5 star rating on flightsim.to for those of you who want to go that extra bit further then you'll want to continue watching so you've gone through and say for example you've added in all of these so you've gone through and you've edited whatever files you want editing and you checked all of the exclude ticks you've checked the fields here as well uh, but you want to make it a little accurate or you want to force certain aeroplanes or certain call signs to display specific things or increase the range of what they might display at the very top you'll notice three different tabs we're currently on the models tab you have airline codes and you have aircraft types if we look at airline codes to begin with, you can see here that we've got British Airways, primary call sign is BAW, 
uh, but they also use shuttle for domestic flights and also if people make mistakes and they log into VATS improperly because they don't really know what they're doing uh, they don't know how to use ICAO codes sometimes we see people log in as BA so we've added that in as an additional capture if you like to try and increase the accuracy same with EasyJet you know we get a lot of people sometimes log in as U2 so you could add in U2 there and try and increase that range of capture Iberia we had IBE but we also have IBS so we can try and increase the range of what gets displayed for Iberia call signs so you can go ahead and just add as many of those combinations as you guys want to try and increase your model matching which is a really great way of, of fixing a lot of user error within VATSIM as well you can tweak these and you can add and improve them as you guys want because once you've downloaded the program you can add a couple of lines here and there to make it work however you guys want but all that happens with this second tab basically is once we write out all the model matching lines for the BA call sign so we've got BAW and shuttle for the official call signs and then BA for the mistakes on VATSIM to try and uh, capture those we will write out the same set of lines for shuttle and BA call signs except if we do have specific liveries for the airlines so for example in Iberia's example I have a couple of liveries specific to Iberia Express now what it will do is it will override this little capture here and it will show IBS instead of IBE so it will show the Iberia Express livery for the IBS call sign over a standard Iberia call sign so hopefully that works so this tab here works as a backup the extra lines here work as a bit of a backup for those as well so doing a couple of things here so basically you put in a description for the airline it's not used in the program area anywhere it's just a monitor for our own reference and then we list as many secondary call signs as we want it will keep expanding horizontally effectively now for the aircraft types tab there's two parts to this apparently from what Philip's explained to me the first is in the last column the match rule set and it is the regular expression regex that is applied to information in the aircraft config file of each livery to attempt to determine what type of aeroplane it is because the details in the aircraft config aren't consistent between livery creators and sometimes they can be completely incorrect Philip's basically created somewhat of a, a flexibility built into the program to try and determine the type of aeroplane it is so the main part of the tab are the other columns and these values help us create entries within the VMR file the custom VMR file for each person using this so each of you guys that run it you get a custom VMR dedicated to specifically what you've got installed so you should get the most accuracy you've ever had from model matching and you could just keep running it over time too these values help create the entries in the VMR file for aircraft types that aren't ones that we've got liveries for so the idea is this for each airline code from the scan liveries we go through the aircraft type scanned and create an entry for each aircraft type that refers to the set of liveries and vpilot then chooses one from random from the list so if we've got five different EasyJet liveries for example because we've got EasyJet holidays, EasyJet Europe cars, EasyJet normal um, and everything else it will capture those and it will build them into one VMR line and vpilot will then choose one at random for each call sign that it's displaying once this is done for the types that got scanned for the first airline we then refer to the list of types on the third tab that we haven't yet written to the file i.e. there are no scanned liveries found now for each type in the third tab we will look to see if we've got a compatible livery for another aircraft type and these other column values drives the logic to determine what is compatible firstly it must have the same engine type so this is how this tab works here to capture things that we don't yet have installed in most cases we don't want to see for example a CJ4 or C25C 
displayed in, in place of a A319 aircraft type for example but we would be quite happy to have a A320 displayed or an A321 or an A320neo displayed instead so what it does is it looks for the manufacturer so it'll say well A319 is what I want we don't have one of those so we're going to look at the Airbus aircraft so we've got all of these different options here now do we have any of those what the size will do is try and match it based on the size so we'll say yep we've got five or six Airbus aeroplanes and uh, only a few of these are size 10 so around the same size as the A319 and it will pick something that it can match what it will do then is it will look for all the liveries that it could display within the match of the size of the aeroplane and most likely it will throw out a British Airways A319 displayed as a British Airways A320neo instead because of the flexibility within the rules here that have been programmed in so hopefully that explains that little section sometimes it just won't find any matching liveries at all so it won't output anything for that aircraft type for example somebody logs in on VATSIM as a Cessna Grand Caravan with a British Airways call sign well that's quite far-fetched so if that happens it just won't produce anything at all because what it would want to do most likely in a wider sense is produce an accurate British Airways aeroplane A320 for example but because the size differences are completely different and the engine type isn't a jet it's a prop for the Cessna Grand Caravan it will just say no we're not going to match that one so if, say for example we've scanned a British Airways livery for an Airbus A320neo and we've got no other types therefore in the VMR output we'll get the Airbus A320neo line the A20N line rule set what this tab will then do when we generate the VMR it will then expand those lines to also capture A320, 21, 19, 18, 21neo and 19neo and it will try to cover all of those possible situations that we might find for model matching for the simulator to deal with and produce that's how that works it kind of expands on the aircraft size the engine type the manufacturer and all the rest of it to script lines to cover all of the instances where we might not have liveries installed I might want to see a load of people logging in as general aviation airplanes to show up as a Cessna Grand Caravan or the British Avgeek PA28 livery for example so we just delete that like so and we make sure that exclude box is unticked we make sure that each scanned entry has the correct aircraft type so here PA28 was P28A Cessna Grand Caravan is C208 but we make sure that we blank off the airline ICAO code and that what that then does is it says to the model matching rule set as it creates the VMR shortly it says right every single p um, every single piper pa28 or p28a is the aircraft type needs to be displayed as a just flight pa28 arrow 3 british avgeek livery and that then becomes a rule and all you do once you're happy and you've had a good tweak and a bit of a play with all of this if by the way you make a, a mistake and you muck all of this up you can just delete everything and re-download the file and just go through all the setup again um, you just hit generate VMR file VMR file generated successfully OK and it's just updated itself in there nice and easy other things then that you guys might want to know any changes to the community folder path should be saved between runs of the program and also all edits made to the scan details or other two tab configurations as well should be saved between runs of the program so when somebody installs a brand new livery all that you need to do is fire the program up scan it again check the details for newly installed liveries and then hit VMR generate VMR so if I installed a brand new livery I'd just open the program up as before scan the community folder again like we did at the start and we would just find that livery that we've just installed and just check the details of that and make sure it's not excluded and then we just generate a new VMR like we did before everything else will be saved by the JSON file 
So, as I mentioned at the beginning, if you ever update the program or upgrade the program, all you need to do is unzip the new ex executable file and other files into the same directory so that the save details in the model matching magic.json file is still used and therefore you've still got all of your edits you've made to your tabs and any of the liveries so far. Now I appreciate that's a lot of information to be fair but I hope you found it informative and useful it, it will for those of you who will be using this program having that full explanation will at least show you guys how it all works so enjoy it have a good play with it so you can get used to how it works how it feels if you need a bit of assistance then feel free to ask on our discord server or leave Phil a comment on the flightsim.to page um, it works quite well as I said before at the beginning we've been trialing it and testing it out for about two or three months now helping to tweak it and improve it and it does work very well indeed so Many thanks again to Phil for all the hard work creating this great free program for the community to help bring custom VMR files to everybody. You know, you guys don't need to download a preset one anymore because that won't capture everything that you specifically have got installed. Whereas this one allows you to generate a VMR file for your model matching on VATSIM based on exactly what you've got installed in your simulator. So it couldn't be any more accurate. Make sure you hit like and subscribe down below as well. And be sure to check out my live stream schedule for all my streams coming up in the very near future. In the meantime though, as always folks, thanks very much for watching and I hope to see you in a live stream very soon.